On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, we're going through and finding different deals for every budget price point we can. All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello, everyone. I am Brea Thorne. Welcome to SI Weekly. And uh, yeah, we're doing the thing that we do every month or so, or try to do every month or so, and we're finding different systems at different price points. If your budget is under $1,000, we're going to have something for you. If your budget is 1000 to $1,500, 1500 to 2000 or 2000 and up, we'll have something for you. So stay tuned and uh, bear with me as I let you know that this episode is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system and cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you CDK deals for continuing to support the channel. Okay, before we get into it, a few details, a few disclaimers. First off, this video is being filmed for June 12th, 2023. All pricing and availability that you see here is subject to change and I ain't the one changing it. Check out my latest video, you'll find that at the end of the video, you know, their most recent upload, or just click on the channel. You might wanna click subscribe while you're doing that if shopping for a pre-built is what you're doing. Next disclaimer, you're gonna hear opinions here. And um, opinions are fine and good. Just understand that these are my opinions. I have taken my time to form these opinions and much of that time has been spent in the field of IT and even more of that time has been spent as a DIY PC building enthusiast, PC gaming enthusiast, all of the things. If you're looking to get into those things, I've been doing it for a while. Though, just understand, if you're not wanting to ever build a PC, you just want to game on one, that's also awesome. That's totally fine. You can have one hobby without having the other. I will not judge you for that because it's just a thing that you could do. Last disclaimer is, of course, when you spend your money, uh, buying anything in any category, you're buying at your own risk. This is not financial advice I'm giving you. I'm not going to be here telling you buy this thing because I don't, I don't have enough information as to your particular needs. Those are questions you should ask yourself. What do I need? What is my budget? What am I going to use it for? All of those things. As a matter of fact, I have a very special episode of SI Weekly that I did a while back. Uh, I'll link it right here, but it goes through the things you need to ask yourself before you spend a dollar on a pre-built. So yeah, I'm here to help give you some information so you can make your own informed decision. That's the thing you wanna do. Now, one thing we're gonna see here, hopefully we'll find some good deals for Father's Day and happy Father's Day to the fellow dads out there. To get straight into it, uh, I wanna talk about why there's certain SIs I don't talk about as often. And one of the main reasons for that would actually be the uh, SI testimonials group of channels in our discord where you can go if you're like interested in you know I heard about cyberpower PC let me check out what they got and uh, you can go there and see testimonials given first person you know from first person reporting from customers who've actually bought from them and I encourage people who do testimonials to include photos if there's something wrong or if it's awesome picture evidence is cool and it means that you're not just stringing words together randomly which is a thing that people can do and probably often do so definitely worth checking out um and that can help inform my recommendations but also i kind of go off of what i see so real quick let's hop over to cyberpower pc and i'll kind of show you what i'm talking about now to get where i went all i did was i went to cyberpowerpc.com and i clicked on pre-built pcs i didn't go to any specific specific category here, I just click pre-built PCs and this page popped up right here. Now, uh, just at a glance, these looks like some pretty decent deals here. You know, they look all right. However, you start to see like, oh wow, $1,000, $9.99. Okay, $9.99, $10.69, all right, nice. Um, but then you look at and see like, oh, that's 11th gen Intel, huh? Okay, then 3050 is good for a budget gaming PC, but that's 11th gen Intel, so, uh, skipping that. And that wasn't their best gen. 5000 series Ryzen processor. Actually, it's a 5600G. So that's one that has 
an iGPU. And that means that using very loose terminology here, it dedicates some of its bandwidth communicating out to everything else to leaving something open for that iGPU to talk to like the system memory, stuff like that. You don't need that. There's a dedicated GPU in here. It's nice to have if you need to troubleshoot. And then I saw this one here. I was like, oh, cool. Okay, so 999 with a 12600 KF, an RX 6600 and a Z690 motherboard with a one terabyte drive. Nice. Oh, that's uh, that would be 16 gigs of DDR5. It's DDR5 motherboard. That's cool. But they give you one stick of DDR5. There is dual channel kits of 16 gigs for DDR5 where you get two 8 gig sticks of DDR5. It's not that common. I mean, look at Build Redux. You go to Build Redux, right? Okay, this is another system integrator. And if you're on a, a 16 gig capacity setup for memory and it's DDR5, it will directly tell you this is dual channel. It lets you know. Thank you, Build Redux, for doing that. That's important information because single channel memory is bad. It's not good. You do not want to do that. You don't want to run single channel RAM if you have a and every pretty much every consumer desktop is going to offer you dual channel for, for memory. Uh, so this is going to underperform based on the other specs. Yes, it's pretty easy to get another stick of RAM, but generally RAM is sold in kits, matching sets. So you would just be replacing this besides this 4,800 mega transfers per second on the memory, pretty slow for DDR5. That bothers me. It bothers me to where there are so many options for pre-built PCs. If something is off, you move on. Move on to another uh, another SI or something like that if you find that they're making a lot of decisions like that, which, I, as I found, they totally are. CyberPower PC. You need to talk to your RAM distributor, your memory distributor, because I promise you, they probably have access to eight gig six of DDR5 because this, all these three systems here, really every one of them 16 by 1 16 by 1 16 by 1 you need to stop doing that because every one of those systems is leaving performance on the table combined with some reporting from you know from community members about less than ideal interactions with cyberpower pc i don't really talk about them very much and besides which you got i buy power i buy power generally doesn't do single channel memory unless you're looking at some budget systems this one maybe there's two four gig sticks of ddr4 i don't know but i wouldn't recommend this one anyway but as soon as you go a little bit higher bam there you go dual channel memory okay uh, when you're looking at something like this yeah it says eight gigs of ddr4 3200 on this 850 dollars system this is a, you know this is a good price on this system it's a budget system and ddr4 is super cheap uh but yeah the 6500 rx 6500 is, is garbo anyway so i ain't recommending this one you're looking for so basically, I'm not saying if you're looking at something under $1,000, you're out of luck. No. The Auxilia comes to mind, and I did a stream reviewing this one. Now, my system had some gremlins in it, the one that I reviewed. However, I cannot stress enough how glowingly positive the reviews of Alexander PCs are on the SI Testimonials channel for Alexander PCs. It is uncanny so this thing right here with its 12100 f which is a great gaming cpu all right and that's universally recognized in the tech community i mean watch the gamers nexus review of both the 12100 f and of the 13100 where they're just like buy the 12100 there's no difference and the price is amazing because you can take 50 bucks off of this with my coupon code which currently is uh ocb the other thing here is also you still get the same lifetime warranty on this thing. So yeah, under a grand, this thing is very easy to recommend. Now in this arena though, I do have to say that, uh, well, I mean, if you tuned in last night, I did a stream uh, doing a review of the Player 2 Prime. Here's the TLDW, is it TLDW? Anyway, okay. I found some loose screws inside the case. Now, if you're just ordering whatever from Amazon and the seller is like gaming PC to you or whatever, you could probably expect stuff like that. NZXT is supposed to be on another level. 
and loose screws in a chassis can get wedged behind the motherboard on solder joints. In fact, connecting two solder joints because there are multitudinous solder joints to choose from on a motherboard. You can get wedged behind your GPU, short that out, something like that. It's bad news. I was nonplussed when I saw it. I don't think that's the norm from them. Uh, and I think that they're probably going to see that and be like, um, yeah, we need to reevaluate our QC like yesterday. But it also let me know that they didn't really send me a curated review sample. But anyway, uh, the deals are very good. I mean, with the Player One, there's a Player One, a Player One Intel Arc Edition with the A7, Intel uh, Arc A770, which is their higher end 16 gigs of VRAM. Uh, GPU, AV1 encoding, and also their uh, their updates, their firmware updates have made great strides. But then there's also the Player Prime. We'll take a look at that one in a second. But looking at the Player One as it stands, the standard Player One, you're looking at a 12400F, that is six cores rather than the four cores you get in the 12100F, and an RTX 3060. Like this is really good. The Auxilia comes with an, uh, an AMD Radeon RX 6600. Now, that, it's, it, it's a great gaming GPU. It clearly is. You do also get DDR4 3600, and you can bump that up to 32 gigs. And you have a one terabyte Kingston NV2 M.2 drive that you can bump up to two terabytes. Here, you're gonna get a 500 gig M.2 drive. That's not enough. It should not be the norm anymore. 16 gigs of RAM, dual channel, there you go, but it is 3,200 mega transfers per second, not 36. Uh, and the cooler that you get is a Deepcool Gamax GTE V2. Also, comparing a lifetime warranty to a two-year parts and labor warranty, kind of apples to oranges, okay? You're talking about a boutique builder going out of their way to build a budget system. The other thing though is the case, quality of the case. This is gonna have the H5 Flow. Now I tested the H5 Elite that comes with the Player 2 Prime. And although we are in a garage in Texas, the temperature issues were a bit hard to ignore, particularly because when I removed the side panel, temperatures improved. That's not supposed to be normal. You should have good enough airflow to where it either doesn't change or if it's a very specifically designed airflow pattern in that case, removing the side panel can actually flout that. It can like mess up your airflow. That's the ideal. It shows you that there's an upgrade available for 250 bucks from the 3060 to the 3070. What else is an upgrade though? Storage, one terabyte M.2 drive. Still the same 16 gigs of RAM though, but one you're getting double the storage, you're getting a 3070, I mean, overall, it's a good deal. You know, 12400F and a 3070. You're talking about for 250 bucks, you're jumping from solid 1080p gaming to solid 1440p gaming. Jumping up from a 1080p monitor to a 1440p monitor, it's a huge difference. And to me, kind of the sweet spot for gaming. So yeah, I would say that um, between the two systems, between the Auxilia and the Player 1 uh, non-prime, I would probably go with the Auxilia because you're getting a lower price. You can upgrade things, which you can't do in the player systems. I mean, that there you go. It's gonna take longer than getting a PC from NZXT. That's like two days. Here, any order today will have an estimated ship date of June 27th. So you're talking about nearer to the end of the month, but that's because it's not boxed up. They're gonna build it for you fresh when you order it. Uh, so that's around the $1,000 budget and just above it, looking at the Player One Prime anyway. Um, there's also the question of QC with the rattling screws, but you know, I'll talk to my guy over at NZXT. He's super cool. I'll, I'll let him know in case he couldn't watch the whole stream because that was like four and a half hours. Uh, we haven't gotten the edited video up yet. That's going to take some time. So I'll have a chat with him, let him know what happened during the stream and we'll see what, we'll see what they say. I'll get back to you guys on that. Now we are also, we're starting to move up a little bit. We're going to 1399 and this is a SkyTech Nebula. And this thing is a hell of a deal. This thing's got an Intel i5 12400F, upgradable to 13th gen as well, and a 4070 for $1399 before my discount with code SWARM, S-W-A-R-M. 
16 gigs DDR4 3200, high airflow case, a 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply, which should be, uh, is that is that what they recommend for the 4070? So I just verified this. The minimum power supply recommendations for a system with the 4070 is 600 watts. However, um, that's what the 12 VHPWR connector, if they're using like an FE card, right? Is supposed to be rated for by itself, like 450 to 600 watts. So like, it seems a bit low, but remember that anything but like the 4080 and 4090 is using the equivalent of like a mobile GPU in the 40 series. It's kind of weird, but with DLSS 3.0, 12 gigs of VRAM, the 4070 is still a, a, a pretty solid upgrade if you're on something like a 1660. Uh, but with the price though, $1399 plus my discount with code Swarm, this thing is an awesome deal. It looks awesome. Uh, I don't know that we're gonna find anything that's a lot better than this without going up in price. So let's do that. We're gonna go up to around 60, well, I, I upgraded the, the drive here. Okay, 1548, we're back at Alexander PCs for the new Peltast, okay? This thing has got the Intel Core i5, 13500. That means you're getting 14 cores, 20 threads on your CPU, but it's efficient and only needs a Vetro V5 to cool it. And then they throw a 4060 Ti in here along with that. In this cool XPG case that I've never really looked at, but I do like the color scheme in it. And when, you know, you, you also get with every a, 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 APC system, you choose a color of your cable extensions. That's just for you, whatever, but it, it is cool. The other side of this, they throw in DDR5, 32 gigs of DDR5, okay? On the ASUS Tough Gaming B760 plus Wi-Fi, 2.5 gig ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth, all that stuff. DDR5, 32 gigs at 5,600 mega transfers per second. So it's not like a baseline. I mean, this thing is, it's a heck of a deal. If you're looking between these two, the Nebula and the Peltas, if you were using your system for anything other than gaming, this thing was gonna make a world of difference having all those extra cores. This has a 12400F. That is six cores, 12 threads, that's it. Versus 14 cores, 20 threads, going up to a 13500. And those extra cores and threads for multi-threaded processes, um, productivity, video editing, things like that can be very potent. Um, now the, that's if gaming is your priority though, having the 4070 over the 4060 Ti might make it worth it to you to get something with fewer cores in the CPU right now. And you can always upgrade the CPU down the road when 14th gen all comes out and 13th gen processors drop in price even more. So you have two very good options here. Now I did want to take a look at this system from iBuyPower right here as we get above $1,500 creeping up towards two grand, okay? This system right here is a pretty good deal. My The downside here is I'm waiting for these guys to start using the mesh front panel that they showed me at CES. Uh, I haven't really seen it on like any systems, but I mean, it was a C thing at CES. That can take some time to hit the production line, if you know what I mean. Front panel on here, not great. However, if this is the right generation of case, and I believe it is, the mesh front panel that they're coming out with will be in the gear store. So you'll actually be able to purchase just a front panel, yank this one off, put the mesh front panel on it. Now this comes with a Ryzen 7, 7700X. What happens when you buy a Ryzen 7 system? Well, you're buying into an ecosystem that is not at the top of the charts, unless you're going like 7800X 3D uh, when it comes to gaming, but it's gonna have longevity. Socket AM5 is going to be supported for years to come. So if you buy a system like this, you can do a drop-in CPU upgrade three years from now and get a massive improvement in performance. I love that. Uh, this also comes with a 4070, a one terabyte M.2 drive, and of course, 32 gigs of DDR5 because it has to be DDR5 for Ryzen 7000 series. I think this thing is a pretty damn good deal. It's a B650 with Wi-Fi. You get the Diablo 4 bundle, which I don't have much time for gaming, but yeah, Roby got me into Diablo 4. I've been playing it a little bit. All right. Yes, I, tr I, I get to game a little bit now and then, and I have missed it. 
240 millimeter AIO for that 7700X should be totally fine. I didn't see a whole lot of systems in that around that price point that really caught my eye, but that one did. So we'll say that that's the one for that price point. So we're creeping up over two grand now. And this is the Azure 2. If you remember around this time last year, I reviewed the Azure 1. Feel free to get this. You have my seal of approval. Uh, this thing's running great. Which is still out there with a 12600K and a 3060 Ti for 1200 bucks at SkyTech. And that's great. Remember guys, buy direct from the SI. That's my advice to you. You can find this stuff on Amazon and Newegg and stuff, but like just get directly from the people building it. That's my advice. But yeah, this thing has a 13600K. And let me tell you, I have a DIY, a DIY project coming up. And when it came time to choose my processor, 13600K. This thing for the money is bonkers. And they put that on a Z690 with DDR5. Okay, at this price point, that's what it should be over two grand. Uh, 32 gigs DDR5. It does not say Skytech. Nuh uh. You don't just not put the, the, the RAM frequency on there. What is wrong with y'all? Put your RAM frequencies on there. Anyway, they also throw it on RTX 4070 Ti. Okay, so you're getting a little upgrade over the 4070 on uh, the previous system that we looked at. And honestly, the Montec Sky 2 case. I am very interested in. And if you like this aesthetic and you're interested in the Azure 2, stay tuned to the end of the month. Anyway, this is a really good system at this price point, but I also saw this, the Prism 2, which they're saying officially is in the Lian Li O11 dynamic. You get a 12700F. It is on a DDR5 Z690. You get nine fans instead of the the, uh, the ones that come in this, which you have reversed fans, which is really cool, by the way. But yeah, this is a much more compact system. If you're limited for space, this is going to be more a, a, a better option for you. This is a bigger case. Uh, 4070 Ti, though, 12700F, same price, $2199. So like, you're getting similar specs. Like, if you're never going to overclock your stuff, go for this one. But anyway. Those are two great options around that price point from Skytech. Let's go higher though. Let's take a look at Power GPU. If you're looking for a boutique builder, you've got some very, very good options out there. If you're like, hey, you know, I got three grand, throw out, I got four grand, I got five grand, throw on a PC, whatever, okay? There are some great options out there. Look at this thing. Look at this. In the Fantax N7, it's freaking beautiful, okay? It's gorgeous. Like they got this like screen up here and they got a Tron light cycle up here and they used the Lee and Lee uh, streamer cables, which I have I got one of these for the for the custom build. 12 VHPWR to 12 VHPWR, basically streamer cable here. And it looks sick. It looks awesome in there. And it gets the whole Tron look going. Like this is gorgeous guys. But yeah, I mean, you could totally get something like this. It's ready to ship. And it's up there, it's five grand. I mean, looking at the specs, it is a 13900K and a 4090. So you're not losing out on anything. Uh, but I mean, I'm talking about two terabyte 980 Pro drive here. Uh, 32 gigs DDR5 6000, could have been 64 at this price point, but high frequency, high capacity on DDR5. You know, if you want stability, this is probably the right choice right here. Um, ROG Strix Z790E, that is a good motherboard. That thing has a ton of features. They actually went with the Fantex D30 RGB fans. These are new fans. So you get reverse airflow to get like intake and it still shows the front-ish of the fan. It looks, this. there's so much detail. Attention to detail in this build. No expenses was spared here, so it's gonna be expensive that's how that works but they're not all like that you can get a small form factor system with a screen here with the ghost spider it's a that that is a cool case i do like that case um you have some that are getting down to like well the ones that are in the lower price points though you'll see they sell out real quick i also want to show off a little bit of what's going on over here at ironside ironside does these custom case runs and this uh lord Athelstan. this looks freaking beautiful look at this so you can get this probably is just a case i imagine that's usually that's what they've been trying to do lately or you can get it in one of these custom systems here starting at 1268 but if you're going to be getting a case like that you should probably be looking at something higher end and you don't just get whatever they say here you can customize ironside has been around for like 12 years and their reviews are through the roof 
Ironside is also a very good bet if you're going into higher budget ranges. Okay, and these templates that are here that you can customize are a great place to start. Okay, like if you're into V Shoujo or here's limited edition partner and, and partner collabs, the Yggdrasil is awesome. Tokyo Dream, I got to review this at PAX East. Uh, juice boxes are just a cool aesthetic. And if you want to look at their partner collabs, they got the V Shoujo lineup and the Lord Aethelstan. All right, and then finally, we go through what you got at Alexander PCs going through their three higher end systems. The Strategos over here, uh, coming in with a 13700K and a 4070 Ti or 4080. Um, and Fury Renegade drives at one or two terabyte, starting at uh, 3598. Okay, in the Lian Li Land Cool 3, I love this case, but good lord, it's heavy. Be prepared, okay? Wear a weight belt moving this thing around. It's heavy. They did the two glass doors thing. Lots of mechanical, interesting stuff going on in there. Great motherboard in here. Next one up is the Gladiator Evolution 13th Gen Intel. This thing clocks in at 4698 with the stock spec. If you want to have that screen on the back, that brings it up a bit and you lose that rear exhaust fan, but still it looks amazing. Is this the very peak of what Alexander PCs can do? Absolutely not. But is it amazing? Hell yeah. This, this is very high-end computing right here. It's amazing. It's an amazing system. 5498 USD comes with the screen by default. You get that little screen mod back there. If you're going to spend that kind of money, the lifetime warranty is included. I do want to point out something here, like say we were looking at Power GPU, right? I spoke very highly of these guys and they deserve that. They're amazing. However, it comes with a one year warranty. And let me tell you, I've had people talk, reporting back as to how warranty interactions have been. Can you guess how that went if I'm here speaking, talking it up like this? I'm not guessing here, guys. Okay, I think I've gone over enough there. If you're looking at something super high budget like that, you should have a lot of options, but you should also have a lot of options at any budget. And that's what we try to bring here. And I know that there was somewhere I was like, this is probably the best option I looked here that I found here. And it's not because I didn't look, it's because I looked and I was like, eh, eh. All right, this is probably the best one. But if you have suggestions of system integrators that you've never seen me cover, throw those in the comments below, let me know. If you're not sure whether I've covered an SI or not, type, go to YouTube search, type in Brayathorn and that SI because I put the, t the name of each system integrator in the title of every video, which means that should come right up. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys. And um, yeah, there's, I wish I had just a solid answer of like, hey, this is coming out at this time. This is coming out at this time. Everything's very crazy right now and all over the place. And I'm very sorry. Uh, kind of like I've been all moving all over the place and Cuddles has to probably track me with the cropped box that you see on the bottom corner when we're showing the desktop. Sorry, Cuds keep you on your toes i guess but that's it for this episode guys thank you so much for joining me and uh i'll be back next week with more computers that i'm gonna talk about i hope you're still into that so until then take care